All right, so sitting here with Laduma Lamati and he challenges for the vacant IBO world title. Um, how do you feel ahead of your fight? Uh, great, brother. This is an opportunity that uh, excites me. And it comes where I didn't even think at this time I'll be fighting for it, to be honestly. It surprised me how things uh, uh, work out. And now it's only 18 days uh, to fight for the world, to be a world title, to be a world champion, sorry. So I'm excited, looking forward to the challenge and I'm ready for the challenge. Let's speak about your Mexican opponent. He's obviously rated highly, especially on BoxRec. Uh, he's coming to South Africa, so he must be quite confident. What do you think about him? Yeah, it's, it's not a first time, you know, fighting outside his country. So the guy, you know, the guys from Mexico, bro, you see, they always come to fight. They're willing to leave any, everything in the ring. So I'm ready and, and, and I'm excited because this guy is going to bring the best out of me. So I'm very grateful and also you mentioned that he's, he's, he's highly rated in a, in a, in a box rack and he's 20 something, he's in top, uh, top 20. So this is a very good opportunity for me. I can't let it slip. Like I said uh, in, a, in the past fight, I don't want to make any mistakes now. I'm looking forward to the future. I'm going to take this belt and look for other belts. That's all bro. Well the stage is obviously set. This will be the biggest fight of your career because of what's on the line and also because he's a game opponent as well. Um, how do you feel about the opportunity? No, I'm over the moon and uh, like I said before, I, f I feel like um, everything it's meant to happen. I've, I've, um, I'm excited. I can't even put it in words, man. It's, 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 it's like it's, this moment is mine and it is, nothing will change it. And I'm just can't wait to just take the, 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 the belt because it's meant for me. I I'm, I'm, I'm just feel like that. I feel like everything now has to come to my uh, hands. Everything is going into places. So I'm very excited and I'm over the moon with the opportunity. I'm, I can't even explain with words. I'm excited. Once I think about it, I can't even sleep. How, how long has the training camp been for this fight? I mean, obviously you mentioned how important it is. I mean, this must be near the best training camp of your career. This is the longest training camp, but, but have, you, have I told you before, I never like um, take off, uh, take time off of the gym. Even when I didn't fight for these two years, I was at the gym giving guys like Lerato Lamin sparring to prepare for their fights. So to me, I've been always in the gym. I was always stay the ready. I had hope because I know I'm in a whole business. It's a whole business. So I never get away from the gym. I always stay in the gym. I always train, I do my running, I do my work. And I have a coach that works at the gym, is always at the gym. So why not? Why? Like, I'm always on camp. That's my life. Till I retire. And I mean, let's look at the last fight you had. You would have known, because they already announced that you were going to have the world title in June, but you still had to take care of business in that fight. Was there any, like, was your mind firmly placed on that previous opponent? Yeah, bro, it, it, it was. Like, like I said, I'm ready for anything. You put a guy in front of me, I'm ready. Because every time I'm at the gym, I'm sparring, I'm doing all. I'm sparring different guys. You know how it is in hot box. I appreciate what Colin does, giving me opportunity to come in this gym and train there. Appreciate that. Eh? And also, look, um, I'm ready for any style. Like now, I'm in a, I'm in a level that... Uh, uh, just waiting for any opportunity and I can't say no at this time or yes at that time I'm just waiting any opportunity I want it so whoever they bring whoever style they bring in front of me I'm taking it and you're obviously happy to be fighting for your f first world title in South Africa she's I'm um, very excited and uh, I'm, like I said I'm over the moon it's it's I feel like everything is meant to be so this day on the 19th, that day on the 19th, it, it, it was meant for me. See, so look at the card there, look at the tournament. There's two tournaments at the, at the same time. And I'm the one who's the, who's, who's the, who's the, main, who's the main card. So look, I feel, I feel like it's, it's all like, it's all being created for me. It's all meant for me. Well let's, so. well, let's talk about that. I mean, you are fighting for the world title now. So you are at the top of the, of the pile in terms of the, the promotion, the, the tournaments. Uh, how do you feel about that? Brother. Like I said, it's hard to explain things in words. It's, it's just, I know, it's like I'm not a good talker. I, I, I do, I show and most of times that it's, I'm, it's, I'm excited and, and it's unbelievable. I was in, I was in uh, 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 thinking th things will go this way, but look at, look at where I am. Look at uh, what's waiting for me now, a world title. Have you had any contact with your opponents? Have you been looking at social media? Uh, uh, my coach has been looking at and telling me what we need to do, what we adjust, you know. Uh, he's a technical coach, so he makes sure um, 
he, he, he started the opponent and then he comes to me and then we do the stuff that we think it's going to uh, give an upper hand to the opponent. So we're ready. And we've been starting the opponent, yeah. Are you, can you say if you see any like anything that you particularly... I mean, obviously not giving away any game plans, but do you think anything about him like that he's weak in certain areas or strong in certain areas? I think in, in all of the uh, guys that are in my division, I think I'm different with one thing. I'm so athletic. I'm so slick. I don't think any fighter in my division that boxes like me. I'm, I'm, I have like a different style, a unique style, a difficult style to be to to, to fight with. I, that that's my that's my. I'm tall. Uh, I have uh, broad shoulders. I, I think, I think for any guy in in, 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 in Super Bantam, I'll give him a problem. I'm 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 just different. I'm just different to any opponent. So, so I'm just. Uh, I feel like. I, 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 once I get opportunity, any opportunity that they will give me, I will take it and I will, I will dominate. I know it's a one step at a time, but if you go on to win the belt, uh, do you want to go on and do a lot more? Look, I want to do a lot more. As uh, uh, Golden Glove uh, mentioned, some other stuff like uh, approaching WBC because WBC have been there in the ratings for long, so they're looking for to do uh, stuff like uh, uh, eliminations and stuff. So there've been there've been talks, and then we've been sitting down. The aim is to do those eliminations because the aim they want to make statement, and also Golden Glove is he have a very very uh, a big hope. On me, he thinks uh, this division we have to own the division, and this division I'm not the first time to be in this division in this country. And always there's someone special in this division, and they think that special person is me. And that obviously gives you a lot of confidence. I mean, <laughs> we, we we spoke we spoke about it like a bit earlier as well. Like I mean, in the previous interview, is that the last time you had fought at Empress Palace was when you fought Sebo and Gewa a long, long time ago, and then you came back and redeemed it uh, when you came back and fought at Empress now. Having a long career there, is that, what you, is that what you're envisioning? Yeah, you see those long time and, 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 and it, it, like I say, great things take time. Mm. You see, so those long time, it was a process for me to, to, to find myself, you know, to actually grow. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm matured now. I'm matured physically, mentally, even spiritually, like knowing myself, you see. And in life, you have to balance so that you can be ready for anything. So I think now I'm ready for anything. Anything that is going to come my way, I'm ready for it. Because that time, that a long career, and not everything was happening fast. No, everything took time. Look at now, I'm 29 years. I just turned 29 years. Same a, a yeah. month as you. So, like, I was, it, it was the time for me to get matured and learn and find myself and, and, and know who I am and know what I stand for and know what I can do. So I, 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 I think, yeah, man. That, that's what it is. Uh, I appreciate for the time. I, I, I said uh, I'm not uh, regretting that things took time uh, uh, to be in this uh, position. No, it have to be like that so that I can learn and find myself more. So, yeah. I mean, we literally said it. We get old together. We one day apart in terms of, in terms of birth. So. Uh, but now, is it the prime of your career? Do you feel like this is the time? This is the time. This is the prime. I feel it. I feel like physical. I feel mentally. I'm, I'm matured physically. I'm matured. So I think everything just, the timing is very good. Uh, the timing is very good. I feel, uh, I feel like I'm over the moon. I was listening to, uh, um, 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 uh, what this guy, um, he just won title in, 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 a, in a Bantamweight division, WPC. He just uh, defeated Obali. Uh, uh, Nonito Doné. Nonito Doné. I was listening to Nonito Doné, what he was saying. He said fighters lose interest mm. because of the things don't go their way. And then you, you think, oh, you're getting older and stuff. No, the time you wake up and being excited to go to the gym, that's where you're going to do amazing things. That's where you're going to feel like you're always in your peak. It's all about motivation. I mean, if you think about it, um, it's a mindset. And then how have you felt you've been mentally over the years? I mean, let's talk about the, the periods um, in the middle where you had to deal with, you know, Luke, in, Hayden, inactivity and so forth. Luke Hayden, it wasn't easy. It was very hard, brother. Because you know you have doubts, is the sport meant for you, is this, is this. But you gotta be strong mentally. So what I did, I tried to focus mentally and I tried not to, to, to be broken. I tried to focus and, and, and just, just having a hope. Like I said, I'm in a hope business, so I'll stay in a hope. So the hope is from now on to be as active as possible to defend your world title and go on to reach bigger things, I'm assuming. As the hope now said, I have a hope. and. It's happening the way I was hoping. So yes, I will keep hoping. I'm going to be active. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a world champion. I'm going to be a unified champion. I'm going to be a, 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 a two-times champion. I'm going to be another divisions champion. So I'll, I'll live by the hope.
and I'm not just hoping and sitting down. No, I'm hoping and working very hard at the, at the same time. Well, I'm not going to ask you this question, but I'll, I'll pose a question to you. I'm not going to ask it to you, though, but I wanted to ask you after the fight. I'm going to ask you who you'd like to fight next, because obviously there are names out there. Maybe you have other champions on your, on, on your list, but it's not a question to ask until you win the world title. So are you very confident, 100%, that you're winning this one? Yeah, I'm 100%, 150. You saw, I have did my preparations. I'm ready. Uh, I, I, I want to go to, I want to take, I want to take uh, uh, this step to another level. And do you, have, do you have a message for fans out there that uh, support you particularly back home? Look, the message will be my performance. So That's the message I'm sending. It's going to be in my performance. So the message that come in words, that's not my message. I don't send those messages. So basically 19th of June, tune in and watch my message. Tune in and watch my message. <laughs> Straight up. Straight yeah, up, yeah. yeah. All right, so and then, uh, do you want to send a thank you, a shout out to anybody? Lidl? Yeah, I want to thank uh, my sponsors. I want to thank my mentor, Uncle Larry. I want to thank uh, my management team. I want to thank my coach. I want to thank my family. You see, without those people, there would be no motivation for me to do any of what I'm doing. So thank you so much. I want to thank you, brother, for your time and everything that you do for boxing. Thank you so much. Yeah.